Hey everyone, welcome to the stream today. We're going to start off, I reckon, with a joke today. So, a Liverpool fan walks up to a Manchester United fan and goes, knock, knock. He says, who's there? He goes, Europe. Manchester United guy said, Europe who? That's it. That's the joke. Okay, guys, we're getting straight into it today. We're going to start off with a new team. We are going to go through here, do some custom tactics live so you can learn how to do them as I do them myself. Okay, we're going to try out with... Let's go to Germany. Let's go to Borussia Dortmund. Let's give these guys a run. We're going to try this out with a 4-2-1-4-1-2-1-2. Okay, guys? Straight up formation. Let's get into that formation. 4-1-2-1-2 wide. That's how I like to play. So it gives us two strikers and a good attacking midfielder option. Now, what I will do here, and this is just because how I play, I like to just bring them back out and down a little bit, more into that uh, right forward role. And then Brandt, I'll bring him back slightly. Still, he's more to the left, okay, guys? More to the left. Uh, like Alan there. As it comes to a team, I always bring Bellingham back into the middle. And Brandt, I will leave out there for the time being, but Dahoud's a good option now. They actually might change him over. Uh, get Dahoud out there. Okay, formations, tactics. Here we go. So press after possession loss on a four, one, two, one, two is fine. Constant pressure you can't you just can't use because you just can't, you'll you'll blow out. Um where are we here? We are going back to press after possession loss width. We're gonna come down to 50 for this depth. Sit back at 60. So build up play I like for me, fast build up and I like that. And forward runs. My style, back down to 50 for your whip. Only because we're playing wide, so we want to bring him in just a little bit. One back on the player in the box, one. We'll leave two. Should, nah, I like to be a bit more conservative, guys. So, Brad, first, bring this down slightly so you can see my head a bit better. Um, And free kicks is whatever. Rolls, I don't really care. So, instructions, okay. Because we've got Halard playing a little bit more forward, we want him to... Um, battle with this fine. We want him to get him get him behind. And interceptions we don't care about. And defensive support we don't care about. Okay, Royce. Because now remember we move Royce, we move him back a little bit. So we need to keep him central. Otherwise he'll push out wide. And I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, attacking runs is fine, won't change anything there. Bellingham, though, because he will be set up differently. So he wants defensive support. We want him on stay on the edge of the box. The free roam, okay? Because it's attacking midfielder, guys. So we want to be able to come out and in, out and in, okay? So we want to make sure that we can um, utilize his speed and his passing ability, and that's the best way to do that. Okay, so this is where it gets a bit important here. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down to the right, left back and right back. So we want them to uh, join the attack and overlap, okay? So join the attack, overlap. Then, so that means here we need basic defensive support. We want them to um, cut inside and we'll say balance for this, okay? I'm not really sure. With I've never really gone brush with Dortmund, so um, I just want to make sure we get that right. So cut inside, cut inside. And we'll leave it at balance support because I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We have to change it. We have to change it. And then centre backs will be fine. Witzel, uh, we want him to cut the passing lanes. Attack and support is a fine cover wing. Stick to position. So stick to position because you don't want him free roaming because he'll go anywhere. Drift wide, he'll get lost. He's going to drift wide anyway. He's going to cover the wings. Stick to position. But make sure we get the cut passing lanes. And that offers Hummels and what's his name? Akanji to be able to stick to position. Kobel, he's not the best keeper in the world, but. Uh, he'll be coming for crosses, and he'll be a sweeper keeper, as we do. Okay, so tactically, we're set up. Squad-wise, why have they done that? That shits me off. They move it straight back. So I'll just... Because I changed it. This one? No, that's too wide. What am I doing? I'm not going to let me change him. Yeah, that's good for me. See how we've got a lot of strength for that mid? Because Bellingham's actually a really good player, so I want to utilise him. 
So that's how we're going to set up, guys. Game plans. So when it comes to the ultra attacking, I don't really mess around heaps with this sort of stuff because, yeah, it's, uh, you don't want to go that high. You just want to get back at 85, but up the width to 70. Constant pressure. No, no, no. We'll get uh, pressure on heavy touch, and then we'll go possession, uh, fast build up possession. Cool, yep. And that's just for the ultra attacking guys. So if you get behind the game, that's what you do. You don't want to go too nuts because you get you get a lot of ball. Like when you're on the, uh, that, that possession, you get a lot of the ball. So we want to want to utilize what we have, okay, guys? Okay, so guys, there's a few of you in the stream today. If you like the stream, please give me a like or a subscribe. Helps me be able to help you guys with the stream. And if you're watching the replay then yeah, can you give me a like on the screen, stream that helps me out. Just going in to make sure we're got everything moving. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we got Borussia Dortmund, we're 4 one 2 one 2 and we are playing, I think, PSG. We'll see what happens here. But let's go. All right, we're on. Liverpool! My boys, my boys. Let's go. Okay, so now what we want to do, right? So we're going to get out wide straight up, then kick it back over. Not there. Get it back out. Oh, you little bugger. Probably the worst team to play, but we'll see how we go. See how we've got the break here over the top, in behind. Probably the worst team to show you how to play this as because Liverpool are just ridiculously fast, man. Skillful and fast. That's why I'll get him off, cut him off here. So we're going to try and hug this win, get him over, because we're overlapping, remember? So let's cut him back. Get him out wide inside. Just try and, we're trying to spread him. Look at that. Easy. That's how easy it is to score a goal when you get your tactics right. And when you, It's not just about getting your tactics right, though, guys. It's also about learning how to play the game with your tactics. A lot of people... Like, you watch how this guy plays. I can guarantee it, he'll get really like, we get another goal, or he, the game stretches, he will get really paranoid, and he'll start bombing it for over the top balls. But look at this, you can really open him up. Come out wide again, I've just hit my fall. Look at this, the space you get out of here. Like, it's crazy how much space you can get just by knowing what, how to play the... To your strengths of your tactics. I mean, you when you're playing season mode against opponents you don't know, you can cop a really good play. You never know. Look at that. So you just just gotta get that width. Sorry, playing time. Then defending is whatever, especially online because you never get the play. You want the shit you off. But look, see, you know exactly what he's gonna do every time. Oops with uh, Salah, because they're just going to try and cut you inside. That's what he does. I got asked the other day how to beat PSG. I'm like, just... You just have to play the play as PSG, and then you'll work out their strengths. Look at their tactics. Look at PSG's tactics. You know what they're going to do to you. They do the same thing every time. It's all over-the-top ball, so get your depth right back against PSG especially if you're playing C's you know you're going to get you know you're going to play PSG four out of five times so no one has any skill will go with PSG because they're so fast and so easy to score. like the best best forward line in the history of the world probably the front three with Messi in there like they're all 90s let's try and get yeah let's try and get out wide again good beautiful Beautiful. Couldn't quite finish it. It's all right. But you watch closely. So Bellingham, I think, is number 22, is he? Watch what he does. Here he is. 22. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention then. But watch how he'll drag that player. Well, look at him. Three of them. Four. All wide. What's that do? Three of them. Up. Bang. That easy. It's that easy. You just got to utilize your tactics, like I said, guys, and be better, better at your skills than me. 
Oh, sugar. All right, let's have a look out here. Let's go. Well done. Beautiful. Oh, what? Oh, it lifted it. Sorry, guys. Lift that pass. Too slow, bro. Too slow. Good work. Alan, let's go. Get there. Come on, Howard. Bang. Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho. what a ball. Who put it on there? The no the Shit. Key keeper out. That's why I like super keeper. Because that is a PSG pass if you've ever seen one. Let's get out wide. Beautiful. Back out this way. Back out wide. Beautiful. You can see that space just opens up. Lovely. And just the chances. I should have passed it across. Yeah. Dunningham. Ooh, bad luck. Bad luck. I was going to have a shot, see how good he was at shooting. But you see, guys, like, if you stretch your opponent, it's like real football. If you stretch your opponent and they're silly enough to chase you around because they don't have their custom tactics up like what you do, they don't have their width 100% how you play or how you need to play with your formation that you choose. They don't have that set up, obviously. And if they do, it's always, you'll be able to tell straight up. You can tell straight up. Because they'll play in a certain way, not the way this guy's playing. All right, so we come out here. Then the guy's whips out here. Didn't even see Fabinho. Am I blind? And that's what, that's, and that, that is a perfect counterattack by him. Yeah, okay. My own fault because I stupidly decided to pass the ball straight to Fabinho, but let's go again. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's go. Can you know get in there? Oh. Bellingham again. Just because... Uh, we have him in that free room area, so he's around the ball the whole time. <sighs> Should be down by that. That there is not much you can do. Like that's like trying to defend Mbappe when he's on a run. It's impossible. This perfect. Oh, bad luck. Yeah, it's like poetry, guys. Hundred percent love poetry. You see what's you see where they run like the runs they're making. Oh no. You see the runs they're making like it's as a player, as the as the controller of the game, it's on you to find the targets. Like it's on you to be able to be good enough to get around players if you have to or find the target as they make those nice runs. But if you set your team up as a proper way with proper tactics, you will benefit big time from that. Big time, as you can see. I mean, the score, they're about to score. That's, at the moment, I'm just trying to show you guys how to play. Then we can kick on. But I'm playing as a team I've never even played as before, so it's fine. Let's go up top. Look. Oh, it's down the slide. Right, I think that was on slide. Less, less the defender got a touch. Oh, what the hell? Um, yeah, just keep. Key, key, key. Oh, yeah. Go through, Lewis. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bad luck, bad luck. I reckon that's a left back, man. That's... Good boy. Bellingham. 
Everywhere the boy. Yeah, this is where you get. And this is the problem you have against really fast teams that are really, really good. They'll always counterattack us. I mean, that's Liverpool's bread and butter. So you don't want to make mistakes like I've been making, because that will get you and haunt you. So there's a big whip out of here. Look at that. All the time in the world. Oof. All the time in the world. Pick where you want the ball to go. Have a shot if you want. I was trying to go for the Hello Chicks. Let's get it out wide. Fuck yeah. Sorry. Beep. Alrighty, we're in. Come on. Go. Let's do this. Come on, you big Borussia Dortmunds. Not even a thing. It is now. Hey! I thought, why? Look at this, ah! Huh? My mum kicked further than that. She ain't even got no legs. Oscar Pistorius kicked further than that. Ooh, Oscar, that's not nice, is it? Sorry about that, Oscar, if you're watching. Oh, block of the year! Oh, you see that? Oh, and we get the goal kick. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wee! Judy. Touch. Yes, love. Oh, love. Love. Oh, what are you doing? Should have passed that back like a good boy. Oh, dang, girl. Hee <laughs> hee. Bicycle kicks. Love how I'm from spread of that. Oh, yes, love. Stay wide, love. Oh, Halan just wasn't on the same wavelength. Let's hope that happens all year this year. If not, I don't think we'll many teams be beating City. Good ball. Good ball. Skip out wide. Good ball. And just because I say go wide, go wide, go wide, go wide, blah, blah, black sheep, like... It doesn't necessarily mean that's the only way forward, too. There's going to be times... No! There's going to be times when going down the middle... Down the middle and, like, direct is a, a time and place for that, too. So when, like, me now, I'm chasing the game, like... Now we're chasing the game. We have to play a very attack-minded game. So sometimes it's just easy way to do that. It's just... Uh, oh, come on. Straight down the middle. Give you your best player and say, go. Get back on good terms. Let's, oh, no. They come what? Look, the whip, though. you got to get that whip. Then you just hook it in. Put the hull on the end of it. Oh. Are we going to up this? Remember how we changed that ultra-attacking um, tactic? Always did that, so we're bad to see what happens with that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Now what? Oh, yes. Oh, what a save! Alison Becker! Oh, my God! Oh, Holland. That is just... How do you do... That's playing like PSG. Give it to your best player and say, here you go, mate. Your problem. But you still, like, still have to get technically right. Look, he's going to go back here. Oh, oh what a save. save what a save. See how we've changed that tactic. You get all those chances about having to be a spazzo about your width and that. Because that's where people go wrong. They put that pressure on, then you run out of legs. Great ball. Oh, great save. Well done. Sorry, guys. I had to get a little bit. I don't like losing. I don't like losing. Great, God. Alan has now been freed up just by our tactical change. And he has absolutely been the difference, hasn't he? Ooh, that's dangerous. There, oh, that's dangerous too, though. Oh, no. I'll be doing that. 
Well, just save. Just save. You know the pace to... Ooh. Mo does defend. Mo. Mo with a new contract defending. A new contract, new man. Good ball. Good keeping. Mo Salah. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I'm the right player. Mm. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Great finish. What? Oh man, now I know why Amber Heard shat on Johnny Depp's bed. I'll show on someone's bed, but that's me too. That's ridiculous. All right, we're on here. Oh, what on? Oh, I'll kick him in the ass. Oh, oh, bad luck. Ah, that's been unlucky, guys. Sorry. Sorry. And my bad. And my bad. Let's play one more as Dortmund, eh? Let's see if we can get a little bit of a... I'd love to play PSG so I can show you guys how to... How to, how to like, play them. Because I know what everyone's... Everyone feels the same. Like, we all know PSG. They haven't got... Who watches the French League if you're not French, really? Well, let's be honest. It's not overly competitive. They win everything. They should anyway. There's no like it's not like England where you have like six or seven or eight good teams that can and then like even the bottom teams push the top teams. Like it's not like that. Even the league has got four or five. Serie A has become better. Now AC and Inter are back in the mix. But even Germany's better, like Dortmund, Leipzig. If, but Bayern Munich will dominate. <laughs> Same team. Oh, well, let's try it out. See how we go. Oh, yeah. That's, that is an ugly way to play. That's lazy. That's arcade-like by me. Lazy way to play. Now, what's this guy doing? Is he going to be one of those twats? You know, that's when you're playing a line against someone and they don't really want to play you. And they just, like, pass the ball around the back line for hours or, like, 80-minute mark. And they're, like, you know, they just pass the ball to their keeper all the time and shit. That, I hate that. I'd rather just keep attacking. It's more fun. Bad luck. It's right idea. Get that width going. Oh, that's a good ball. Cut me in half. Oh, way too long. Get out wide. Get out wide. Get in behind. Again, it's lazy. It's not lazy, but the ball wasn't there to play. The ball was 100% not there to play. Fuck it out. That's horrible defending by me. Pull my head in! Please! What are you? Good ball. Ooh. Ooh. Bad luck. And I'm big on like to shoot on... Where you, where you can, because you never know, especially in this game, especially online. Like, he was... You never know. <laughs> you just never know. Alrighty. Let's do this.
goals on the back post like that too shy right, we gotta really pick this up guys this is embarrassing i've lost my way a bit here oh barged me off that barged me off that come on Get in. We're getting smashed. Bella. They're really on the ball. Ball. I'm not against playing it back either, guys, to go forward like this. Not at all. If that's how you got it, only way you can get it wide, that's what you have to do. Yeah, good on. They're fast, eh? Their speeds cause me trouble this game. Good ball. Good ball. Oh, I put that hood on, didn't I? That's how you put that hood on. Well done. Good ball. Well done. Oh, that was blind. Now we're on. Oof. Good work. Oh, beautiful stuff. Free kick. Should we go for goal, you reckon, team? What about that squad goal? Yeah, I reckon. That won't be easy, though. Yeah, oh, maybe. Let's go. Oh. Bad luck. Oh. An important interception. Oh, Holland. Ooh, good work, man. Good work. Should pass it, though. But couldn't find the target. They're set up really well out wide. They're really <laughs> making it hard. This is what shits me. It's crap. I was taking them out in a minute. If I didn't have Holland, then I would have just legged him. Took it on there, huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, good ball. Oh, good ball. Oh, good ball. Oh, good ball. Oh. It's not quite a... Want some? Beautiful. Beautiful. Right down the middle here. Beautiful. Oh, how did he get it? I should have lifted it. Oh. This might be ideal for the counter. In with a chance. They must be playing all that attack already or something. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Oof. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Big bowlers and get angry. As good as FIFA is, I love FIFA, obviously. Freaking hell, it is so frustrating sometimes. Mm, ain't going nowhere, bro. What a waste of time that was. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, I'll be safe. I should shoot him, man. I should see if I can shoot him from out there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're going through here. 2-1 down. We've got our 4 2 4 1 2 1 2 tactics. Slot my phone number, guys. 0 4 4 1 2 4 1 2 4 1 2 1 2. Shish. And we'll see how we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's good ball. <laughs> Well done. Well. Woo! Yeah, well done. Oh, yeah, lab. Oh, yeah, lab. Let's go back out this way. Beautiful ball. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. That was just hello, chick stuff. Sorry, guys. Oh, no. Pull the keeper out, get him back. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. He didn't even have to die for it. He couldn't just, like, let it go over his head, turn around, run backwards and stop it. Like, one step. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh! Replay! Oh. We're going, we're going for it, boys and girls. That is not nice. At all. Oh, ah! How'd you miss? It was a simple pass. Oh. Come off it. It's on now. Oh, I pretty know where I thought I was going to go. Offside? No. Yeah, I thought he might have been just. I'm not happy about that offside. Oh, the freaking Hallard didn't even... That pass that didn't hit Hallard actually even lakes out. Oh, my mum would have hit that pass. Oscar Pastorius would have hit that pass. The only thing he's hit lately is he's misses with a gun. It's ridiculous. Oh, we got nothing. They're just... Ooh... Offside. Excellent ball over the top. Well, unable to bend. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think so, Tim. Maybe they do. Let's go. Let's do the business. Do the business. Oh, yes, love. And he's taken us away. Bit cocky, mate. Who are you? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Ooh, where that was going. Oh, save. Let's go. Hello! No. 
Sorry, Milan. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Superbly to take back possession. Staff. Axel. Ah. Oh. <laughs> He's shooting anyway, he's gone. Love it. Love it. Right, eh? I don't think we're going to get through this one, guys, again. At all. Oh, hell, it's all like that. And it's played into the center. Well, they survive. Well done. We just do not win a second ball. Ten minutes to go then. Good defending. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well on. We got the space out here. The switch of play now. Good work. Erling Haller. Short attempt. There is sip. Park the bus. Well, the counter chance looks very real. He's in here. Well, they broke with such pace. Right, eh? Going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Better score so God pierce. Good ball. Good ball. Ball played nicely. Using space on the opposite flank now. Oh, by that, mate. I'm not precise enough with the shots. I want to scout away to see the shots after this game. It's going to be crazy. Crazy, crazy. They've had fair few shots, though, really. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Well, it shouldn't be too much of a uh, too much of a parody. <laughs> shouldn't be. Probably will be. I probably have more shots. I probably just think I'm doing better than I am. Oh. That's a great ball if put a bit more on it. Oh, no. That's terrible. 18 shots. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go into... A different team. We're going to go... I like to keep, I like to mix it up because keys are interesting. We'll go out of Germany. We'll go to, we'll go Ajax. I reckon they play a 4-3-3. Yeah, let's have a look at their tactics. So we're going 4-3-3 attack, guys. Let's see what they've got. In terms of how it's set up like that as a formation and a, uh, the squad, nothing wrong with that. I love that. That's fine. You've got the protection in the middle. You've got your three wide players. Sorry, your two wide players and your two um, fullbacks. Let's see how they tactically... So pressure on a heavy touch. That's how you play a 4-3-3 attack. With 65. Yep, 80, so they're really high. That's fine. See, this is where I get frustrated with slow build-up. If you've got an attack-minded team, you can't have slow build. It doesn't work. Not for me, anyway. I like direct passing. I'm going to give them a go of direct passing. The width, that's a bit too much for me. I'll go back to a 70. Players in the box, way too many. Let's have a look. All right. See, they've got all these tactics. Like, perfect. But none of this, none of this is going to help you because none of it's set up properly. So you want basics defensive support. You want him to stay wide. 
you want him to get in behind, okay? The other two don't matter too much, but get in behind and stay wide. Perfect. Same as Anthony, stay wide, get in behind. Hello? Now, see, he's playing an attack, so he's playing as a striker. So you want him to be a target, man. And the red, like, his width, you want him to stay central. Here we got the width. Stay central target, man, for your mid. Central attack and mid. Let's have a look. Stick to position. Perfect. That's actually set up really well. No. Oh, I just don't age the box because it puts some, a lot more emphasis on it. Now, your two defensive midfielders, they need to be covering the wing and sticking to position. Yeah, we'll take that's fine. Burgess sticking to position. Wing beautiful. All right, let's get to our fullbacks. So we want them to join the attack. I want them to overlap and stick. Stay worse. Then they don't want to step up. Nah. Join the attack. Overlap. What do we got? Stay back. Stick to position. Perfect. Perfect. Or oh, Nala. He left. I reckon. Uh, Sweeper keeper and comes through crosses. Perfect. So yeah, that's a lot of work having to go into. A team that I actually a good team. Let's see how they perform on the big stage. The big boulder stage. Let's see how they go. What about it? Where you at? Where's the passion boys? Girls of the jury. Opponents found. Where'd you find them? That's the question. I actually have played as Ajax a few times. I really enjoy it. I really like playing as Ajax. Hello, Let's go. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect Portugal. My name is Derek Ray. So get wet out and cut. Oh! Is the former Arsenal and West Ham. Oh, good contest. And every reason to believe we're in Like some teams on FIFA, man, like you can find some teams that generally you would think, oh, in real life, maybe aren't that good. Like, Ben Fika in this game are unreal. Good ball. Good ball. Goal. Easy. Put them wide. Cut them back. I reckon he left too, didn't he? Didn't he get an inter? No, no, Lukaku inter. Hala, where'd he go? Premier League, maybe? Ah. They didn't really care. Beautiful. Yeah, we have to hold up. Yeah, that's one thing I haven't really gone into. Is if you've got no one attacking, you got to hold it up. And that is not where I wanted that ball to go. And you know, all you guys know exactly where I wanted that to go. That is dumb! All right. I think we're playing someone that maybe is a little bit inexperienced because they're just doing the basic FIFA shit that's easy to play against. You know exactly what they're going to do to you every time. And that's the thing with FIFA. You know what they're going to do to you. Yeah, we're going to win it every time. Good work. Good ball. Well, I knew who's gonna. I knew Pepe was gonna step up at me then, and I'm like, right trigger around R1 around. How is everyone with skill moves and stuff? Like you can see the way I play. I'm not massive on skills. Like I don't um, use the trick stick all that much because I'm more of a believer of um, playing the formation right to win games. I feel like when I start trying to be a smart ass and skill everything, that's when I make mistakes. But I know everyone like, that's the joy of the game though, is like really selling someone down the corridor. Oh, that's lucky, lucky. Lucky. That's me, unlucky for them. Oh, they're happy about it. Shit, it's like we're playing watching Man United when they're scoring goals. Oh, sorry, chat. As you can tell, I'm not a Man United fan, I'm a Liverpool fan, so. And that's why I don't go to Liverpool, because I, it's not going to teach anything if I go to Liverpool, because I have a special way I play of Liverpool. I'm not ready. 
I'm not at a stage in my life, in my YouTube life, where I'm willing to unlock all my secrets on my team because, you know, that's my tournament team. And we've won a few... I think I've lost... I haven't lost one this year. But then again, I don't really get that team in my tournaments, the ESL. He wants to quit. Don't blame him. I'd quit if I was him. I won't be nasty to him. I won't smash him. That's not fair. Oh, it's got a nice shot. Have we got him? Have we got him? Will he rage quit? Will he rage quit? I think he's going to rage quit. He might quit. He's not rage quitting. Maybe he's watching this live stream and he's going to use my tactics against me. Hmm. Because that's one thing. I'm in the process of uh, starting up one-on-one -on -one coaching. And part of the one-on-one -on -one coaching is you have to beat me with my tactics before you graduate. And uh, I've done a few with a few different people, like many people in my hometown of like 10,000. Um, and it's a horrible feeling when they beat you. But that's a part of education. And really, like, no one's really at a stage now where they want to get educated on FIFA 22. It's going to be 23. Very soon. And that's where people are going to want to get help. But ooh. the thing with the way you play the games, they don't really change all that much. So the tactically and like technically, it's all the same. But how you, how they play the game in terms of gameplay changes. It's only when they go from, like, really massive changes. I think it was FIFA 20 that went... Shit. FIFA 20 or 18 or something that went the new way to defend. That was, like, drastic. That was heavy. But it's very... Like, I think, for what I've told, when I reached out to get some information about EA Sports FC when it comes out next year a.k.a. FIFA 24. Um, the rumour, or the thought process of them is it's not going to be... At the moment, they're contractably obliged to bring out a new a new game every year. By Patrick. Um, a new game every year that's contractually obliged. So it's really difficult to do like change things every year like you can't do it where their thought process is they're going to make um you know try and get a three-year um three-year service out of the out of the op and that'd be interesting because it's also a strong rumor that it might be free to play but then Everything else costs you, like, be like Warzone, I guess. But I'm not big on that because I think what will happen there, and what scares me about that option is um, if you have to buy teams or buy leagues, uh, like, the beauty of FIFA is you pick it up, you've got every team at your, every team at your, Beck and call. I don't problem if you have to like buy the World Eleven and stuff, that sort of stuff. Like these hybrid teams or like foot and that. Like that's always been like that. And the ultimate team I think will be the biggest winner of this uh part, like the no longer teaming up with FIFA. I think that'd be the biggest winner. Um I just hope it doesn't be interesting to see. Let's just leave it at that. Interesting to see with no restrictions. Um, there's no competition yet 
big, big rumor of 2K taking over uh, FIFA's license. Now, the presentation of that will be undoubtedly better than FIFA and than EA has ever done, but it might put some pressure on them a bit. But, yeah, see, NBA 2K, that was wicked. Like, as a as a spectacle, it's awesome. Sometimes the gameplay, though, is dodgy. And I like the way this plays. I like the way FIFA plays. I don't want to have to go learn a whole new way of playing the game. And it's going to be difficult. I don't see... Unless 2K bring out an absolutely phenomenal game. Can't see it. Can't see everyone jumping over. Oh, I mean, let's be honest. They did it with NBA, but EA were over NBA. And the NBA jams, they've made since. Cool. I like them because I like the way I'm used to NBA. I'm used to FIFA and NHL and Madden, like the way games play. With EA, you're used to it. And I, I didn't mind it. But presentation wise, graphically, um, the way 2K is presented is amazing. And as far as I've heard, the my career stuff is pretty awesome. So where where you think EA would be able to beat him in NBA would be ultimate team, but I don't think that was overly uh, popular either. Anyway, back onto FIFA 22 tactically. Let's go. Um Let's have a look. What are we doing here? We're 3 0 up. He's just. Yeah. Nice, nice strike. It's really a hard game to show you guys how to play this 4 3 3 because it's just so easy to get straight down the middle of him. But, like, you want to try and get. Still want to try and get wide. Like, no matter what formation we use, it's all about width. Because then you can come back, cut out. Look at this. Like, you just. Three passes and you're having a shot on goal. Oh, that was not smart. That was my bad. Like, it's just crazy how quick and easy it is to get wide and then cut it back and bang, you're in already. Like, shot and goal. Oof, save. Ray Patricio! Let's try some. Hello, chick, checking. Oof. Oh, smacked him in the head. Oof. I wonder if me and I are still in for that Anthony fella. I think they're having a lot of trouble signing players. And that is, like, all about, like, Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, has played, like, 20 years in a row in the Champions League. He is not going to not play in the Champions League. And if they think that he's loyal to them, they're dreaming. If me and City come and said, hey, you want to come win trophies, like, play in the Champions League, you reckon you won't go? I don't think he'd go to Liverpool, but he'd Liverpool obviously wouldn't sign him. But Man City, I don't know, I reckon he will. I think uh, fanboys, like Ronaldo is man, you know, his little baby. Like he's a Paul Scholes nearly. Eric Cantona, the man, you know, and Alex Ferguson. Like he goes to City. Oof. Chelsea, maybe here in here in Chelsea, or um, here in. Uh, Back to you, though. That'd be interesting. Very interesting. Goes back to you, though. They're signing some really good players. All on freeze, mind you. Oop. Chip. Oh. Like, if you guys want to have some fun with FIFA, like, do a challenge. I'll do a challenge next game, okay? We'll get a challenge going. Challenges are fun. They entertain people. Let's go. Like I said, guys, if you enjoy the content and want to know more about how to play the game, formations for your teams, if they're a big team, if not, if I haven't done one, let me know and I'll uh, do my best to get one up for you. Like, formationally and stuff, jump on my channel, give me a like and a subscribe. It helps me, helps you. And there's a lot of information there on how to play the game. I'm going to do a lot more of these live streams, more educational based. This is not really an educationally based stream. It's the start of what I'm trying to do. I'm going to make a new series and I want to um, just have a basic, give you guys more value in terms of what you're learning. Whew. Well, today is more, is that learning process, but it's more about gameplay as well. Just a bit of fun. 
Oi, straight to Renata, that's smart. Oh, yes. Oh, ball. Save. Good, good football all around. Oh. Yeah, right, so next game we'll do a challenge. Chip shots only. So L, L1 shots only. Keen? Bloody O for Keen. Love a good challenge. Yeah, Portugal. Oof. Portugal, good team. They wouldn't like getting flogged by Ajax. Oh. Just love that ability to break teams down. Make him earn it. Oh, this is just magnificent. Bad luck. Oh, it's just amazing. You just step through. But that's how you, the only way you're going to beat. Well, this is that's exactly what PSG will do to you. They'll chip you every time. You know it. It's going to play on the counter attacks. So don't give the opportunity to. The one little cheat I'll give you guys is fuck out. If you do get scored against and you feel like they're getting a bit of a run on. I think it's about three minutes, three game time minutes, not three actual minutes, three game time minutes. Just pass it around like to your box. Like, let's do this. Just keep control of the ball for three minutes. And it stalls all um, momentum. But if they get the ball off you in that three minutes, you're probably going to concede. That's the only problem. So make sure you're doing the right, like you're confident with what you're doing and where you're passing. Just dragging him out, drag him out. He's just skipping up. But yeah, see, they don't want to lose it. Be fine now. He's got no momentum, so it's easier to show you. But that's what you do, though, and you'll find you'll gain the momentum back, and then you'll probably hit him on the counter because they'll get shitty with you. They'll get really shitty with you, and they'll just try and like counter attack you. They'll push really high. They'll push three or four guys up. They'll hold R1 and L1, and they'll push people up. And then you'll be able to play behind them and get a goal. Get back in the game. That one. Good ball. Watch this. Oof. Oh! You bugger. I thought he was going to mount me. Straight up and back me and just come straight through me. That would work too. That's a great ball. See, that's good. He's playing really well. Don't get me wrong. Like that passing and that dragging me out wide, that's how you're going to beat me. That's how you're going to score goals. Because you've got Jota, you've got Renau. Oh, that's a nice ball crap. Oh, yeah. All right, so last game coming up. Maybe. Maybe do three more. I don't know. Only way in this next match, okay, the only way I can score goals in this challenge is by chip goal. If I score a goal other than chip, I have to put two own goals in my own net. Every time. Every time that I do that, that's what's going to have to happen. As much as I get freaking PSG, I'll get really dirty. Couldn't ride any better, could you? This is an opportunity for me to show you how to play PSG. Even doing a challenge. Good ball. Oh, that was a chip shot. I'll even hold my control up here so you guys know a lot. Screw it, yeah. They already haven't scored ahead of a chip. I don't know. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Beautiful stuff. I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully, I get an opportunity. 
Damn. I think we all feel your frustration over PSG. Like, it's so fast. But that is what, exactly what they do. This guy's going to play exactly the same way. That's they all do. But feeling so many in attendance here. Good ball. Just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, the play inside areas, and he can certainly play inside areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of the shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Create the mistake. I would have scored that, you monkeys. You play after a lob it. Bloody challenge squad. Boy, oh, don't ever do what I did then. Push up that hard on him. Hey. Predictable. Oh, nearly worked for us. Standard PSG. Like, so momentum, I don't feel like they've got it right now. I feel like I've got it. So I'm not going to do the whole pass around thing. I think that's the counter attack goal. Very lucky goal. Beautiful. Still held L1. Good day. Uh, good chip. Not a much more to hold L1 down. Should pass her over. What? Yeah, Flamingo. Oh, I thought so. This is the PSG predicament. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Let's go. So now it technically are. Stalling their momentum without even really meaning to do it. Oh, bad luck. Good chick. Yeah, how are we losing? Good question, commentator. Jesus. Well, Ajax don't necessarily have a world-class defense yeah oh yeah I hate playing <laughs> shit that's all I do there's no skill you have to be any good I don't really know how I'm going to score from there doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd try and... Oh, far out. Really pressing their opponents. Given away by Ajax. Mbappe. And Neymar. Oh, ho, <laughs> ho, Oh, yeah, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to give him back too much of a look because he will get you. Oh. 
yeah, break his leg. That's the other thing I do. If I get really annoyed with it, I just injure, we'll try and injure one of them. I put a short up the other day. How to beat, how to defend against PSG. How to stop Mbappe. And like, it was like, chase him, press square, break his leg. If he gets injured, laugh. If he, he doesn't, cry. So this is all so fast. Mm, Shoot your possession. Come on. That's the problem with having the one button to do two different jobs. It gets confused. Oh yes. Promising sequence. And that is that for the first half. Let me chat in the squad. How much do you reckon? Sorry. How many shots do you reckon I had? Eight. Eight chip shots. I wouldn't I wouldn't do eight chip shots in a month. So underway in the second half, it's PSG in front, but a long way from being done and dusted. Yeah, see the line. I want to play PSG, but so actually like not just grab Messi or Mbappe and run at people. Like when you're thinking of anything more boring, just running and just knowing you're gonna you... Could cross it in here. Oh. Mm. Right. Now with Akimi, can they create something from here? What? Let's go. Thinking defensively. Ajax losing possession. Ugh. It is. They just don't make any mistakes. And it drives you mad. Oh. Oh, cheap. Let's go. Come on. Get another one here. Make them scared. Not gonna happen. Oh, thought he was gonna play in. All he's trying to do is get around that left foot so he can do the odd, uh, uh, one tactic. It's all he's trying to do, and that shits me. Because Messi and Mo Salah and these guys do not miss. I refuse to do this sort of crap. Drives me crazy. It shows you don't know what you're doing. That's the only way you're going to score. How boring. Oh. I reckon my L1 must be buggered. I'm holding it down. I should love that. I didn't do it. Might really be able to trouble them here. Wijnaldum. <laughs> See? He can't even get my box. He's just shooting for... Straight at the goalkeeper then. Unless he's doing a challenge and that's all right. I don't mind then. Ha! Oh, the scored! Scored it if I didn't have to use the lob. 
Oh, I think we might have to use a lob. What a stupid time to do a stat challenge. It's costing me a win. Lissandro Martinez. See, I'm holding that one down. Oh, I thought he was just going like, to watch it go in. I need to go like a fast break. <laughs> He's done a rumour, like he's a gun. He's not that good in real life. Well, he's good in real life. He's not like his FIFA fuck god in real life. Oh. This did not love that well at all. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And the attack looks promising. We've got him under all sorts of pressure, squad. Oof. <laughs> Man of my word. Chat, where of my word. I could have cracked the body out. just be a sore loser and just get a point. But no, I've kept to my word. I say we're challenging. We're challenging. Oh, Ronnie. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, oh! oh We're in. That's a beer squad. Absolute perseverance, that team. Oof. Come on, Messi. Get to the top of your box. Have a shot, son. That's all you got, yeah? Let's go on and win this bad boy. Oh my god! That is butt average defending. Oh shit. Oh. Ah. I didn't really want to cross it the law. Oh, no, he was lobbing over the top again. Oh, come on, Messi. Get to the box. Have a shot. R1 needs to be pressed. Come on. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Quick, R1. Oh. No, you can't do that. Oh, he's given the ball away. Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, I could take. Good cut out. If you want to learn more, guys, about um, all my tactics and stuff, check out my channel, subscribe, give me a like, guys.